So what is pulsed radiofrequency to the superior and inferior hypogastric plexus? Well, if you have a patient uh, with pelvic pain, uh, the mainstay of treatment remains medication, and that will be using uh, anti-nerve pain medications or anti-neuropathic medications to get the right balance between benefits in terms of pain relief versus any adverse effects. However, if patients fail with medication or they have ongoing uh, significant pain um, or uh, they're just unable to tolerate meds, there is a simple technique that we use. A uh, patient will come into hospital as a day case. We will put them under an x-ray, a little needle in the back of the hand, and a very uh, small amount of sedation so they feel nice and relaxed. And we will administer the uh, probe, we'll clean up the skin with some antiseptic, put some local anaesthetic in the skin, and then put down very, very, very fine radio frequency nerves down to the superior and inferior hypogastric plexuses. Now these are located um, just in front of, or what we call anterolateral, um, to the front of the vertebral bodies um, for the superior hypogastric plexus and in front of the sacrum, which is the, um, the, the sort of C-shaped bone right at the bottom of the spine, um, in front of that. The procedure is very straightforward. Once you've located uh, the plexus, an electrical current is put through it and the patient feels a dull pulsing sensation. Once this has been achieved as accurately as possible, cycles of an electrical current are put through uh, the nerves to try and reset them. This is the pulse radio frequency. In terms of risks and benefits, the benefits pain relief, it takes about 10 to 14 days to work, sometimes less, sometimes more. The risks are minimal, failure, local bleeding, bruising, infection, discomfort. You may get some numbness and weakness afterwards just from the local anaesthetic. But otherwise, uh, this is an extremely simple and extremely well tolerated uh, procedure.